Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, I'm going to talk about the easiest way to draw flowcharts. So you probably thought that in order to draw a flowchart, you need Microsoft Visio or something that costs money. When in fact, you can all just draw it for free on a website called draw.io. And how easy is that to remember? Because you're drawing something, it's called draw.io. So I'm just going to go to the address bar and just type in draw.io, press enter. Okay, and now you're on the website. Now that's the real name of the website, but no one's going to remember that. Okay, so it's just draw.io. Okay, so now that we're here, just let me explain the three options to you. So you're creating a new diagram. Now, where does this diagram go? Okay, because are you going to save it to your Google Drive? Are you going to save it to your OneDrive? Or are you going to save it on your computer? Right, there are three options. These two options are if you have cloud storage, if you have Google Drive, if you have OneDrive, save it there. Otherwise, I will just save it to my device. Okay, so once you've chosen device, the next option is do you want to create a new diagram or do you want to open an existing diagram? So obviously, we're starting from a brand new diagram. So the top one is the one you click. I will come back and show you how to open up one that you've done already later on. So let's click on create new diagram. And we're going to open up a blank new diagram. There are a lot of other diagrams you can explore. Okay, so maybe you want some sort of a business organizational chart or something like that. But we just start with a blank diagram because that's how I like to do it. So you double click on that. Here is a blank diagram. So let me explain the interface to you. On the left are all the shapes that you can draw on the screen. This is the page that you're printing out. Okay, this is what the actual flowchart looks like. So if I want to draw a shape, I simply drag from the left hand side my list of shapes. So let's say I want to draw an ellipse. I drag that to my workspace. And this is what's going to be printed, this part of the page. Okay, and then once I drag something onto the page, you can see that it's highlighted. I can deselect it by clicking on the space or I can select it again. So click, click, right, select, deselect, and so on. So I can select uh, the oval, all right, and then I can change some of the styling on the right. So the right hand side is the properties panel. And I can use that to stylize the circle. So if I want the circle to be yellow or something like that. Okay, now to type onto the um, ellipse, I just make sure it's selected and you can type on your keyboard. So I'm just going to type start. Okay, because this is the start of my flowchart. Once you type it, get out of there. Click the shape again and I'm going to go to text and just make the font slightly bigger. Okay, this is the start of my flowchart. I can obviously drag the circle to make it bigger as well. Drag the corners. Okay, now if you hover your mouse over it, you will see some connectors and an arrow. Okay, so I will show you guys how to use these very soon. But the next thing I want to do is drag on a rectangle block. Okay, because in a flowchart, the start is simplified by an ellipse, whereas an action is simplified by a rectangle. So I'm going to make this rank rectangle a bit bigger. And what is the first action I am conducting? Okay, now, um, actually, a good thing that I should do before I go overboard with this is to type a bit of a heading. So let's type a bit of a heading on the top to say what my flowchart is about. 
So you can see a heading is basically a rectangle with no boundary. So it's this shape here. So I'm going to type uh, how to rock climb. Okay. So start. Okay. Um, and then I want to say the first action that I'm doing when I'm rock climbing. So I'm going to say, uh, put on harness, uh, tie harness to rope, uh, approach wall. Okay. So then this is basically the first action. So to connect the star and the rectangle, what you would do is you would hover the mouse over the first shape. You can see some little connectors surrounding the shape. Drag one of these connectors. So put your mouse over one of these connectors, drag it towards another shape where you will see several connectors again. Now you're going to move it to the connector that you want and let go of your mouse. And now you will see that the first shape is connected to the second shape. Okay, and why is that useful? Because if you click out of it, you can drag this rectangle wherever you want and the arrows are still connected. The arrows are still connected. So that's really useful. Okay, the next thing you want um, is let's say I want another rectangle block. Now, rather than dragging another one on, what you can do is a shortcut. Is if you hover your mouse, okay, if you hover your mouse over the rectangle, you will see that there is a um, arrow pointing downwards with a very light color. Okay, so if you hover your mouse over it, it gets a bit darker. And when you just click, it creates an exact clone. Okay, so then I don't have to drag it on, resize it and all that. So I'm going to say, start climbing. Uh, so I'm going to say, um, put your foot higher on the wall. Put your foot. So put your hands on the starting handholds and feet actually let's just do that and then just do another one let's try one to the right this time all right drag it over here a bit because you don't want to you don't want to make it go outside the page obviously but you'll see that if you if it does go outside the page, the cool thing is it'll extend the back the background for you. Okay, so that's cool. So I'm gonna say put your foot up higher, and then I'm gonna put your hands up higher. Okay, and then the important thing about a flowchart is you have to use a diamond when you are asking a question. So the diamond is when you ask a question. So I'm going to ask, have you reached the top? Have you reached the top of the wall? Of the wall. Okay, have you reached the top of the wall? So let me press enter a couple of times because it's coming out of the shape. Have you reached the top of the wall? Okay. And there are a couple of possibilities. The first one is probably going to be no because you just started climbing. So I'm going to, if the answer is no, I'm going to drag one of the connectors back to here. And you can see it's sort of going over some of the lines, so I'm just going to rearrange a bit. Put your hands up higher. That's the next part. Have you reached the top of the wall? 
on this line, I can also name it by typing while it's selected. No. So then it'll come back to putting your feet up higher, put your hands up higher. Have you reached the top? No. So it'll continuously loop this until you have reached the top. So now I'm going to drag um, another line. Sorry, another um, rectangular block. And I'm going to link from this shape to this shape. And it's going to say, yes, I've reached the top because I keep putting my feet up higher, keep putting my hands up higher, repeat. I finally reached the top of the wall. And I'm going to say, sit back down uh, on your harness. And that's it. And that's the end. So, end. Because then you get let down. So I don't have to explain the rest. All right. And I can drag from here to the end block. Okay. So this is my flow chart. All done. Okay. Obviously, not the best formatting. But um, that's how you do it. Okay, now there's one important thing that we haven't done the whole time. That is, we haven't saved it. And that's pretty crazy. So to save it, you would want to move your mouse up here to rename it. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to rename it to How to Rock Climb. And you can see the file extension is actually a .draw.io file. Okay or an XML file. So choose that, click rename. And then you're going to go to file, save. And when you click save, you can see that it downloads a .xml file to your computer. So it downloads it in Google Chrome, which means that it will go to your download folder. But if you can't remember where that is, Click the upward arrow, click show and folder. Okay, and you can see, um, you can see that, just let me get rid of a few things. You can see that it is currently sitting in my folder. D drive downloads. Okay, it's sitting in that folder. You can copy and paste this to your documents or wherever you want, but the next time, okay, let's say I close down draw.io. Let's say I close it down fully. So I go to another website, I close this down. Okay, leave the website, it's gone. To get that back, what you would do is you go to draw.io again. And then you go to open existing diagram. Okay, then you're going to go to your downloads and you're going to open up this .xml file and it shows up. Now, the last thing you need to do is think about how you want to show this diagram to other people because you can't just give them your XML file. It's not going to work. All right, so you need to export it as a picture. So you go to file, export as PNG. And you can also give it a transparent background if you want. And you're going to click export. Again, save it to your device. And you can see it's downloaded a picture. So if I open up the file, you can see it's a .png file and it's a picture file. So you can just double click on it. Double click on it and you've got your um, flowchart in a picture. But if you double click on the .xml file, nothing's going to happen. Okay, so don't try to open it like this. It's only used to be, uh, it's only used for being opened on draw.io and that's it. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.